Um, so, in your left hand, we're going to be doing this in D minor. Your left hand, you can start with just D and A, and eventually throw in F when you're comfortable with that. Um, and you're just going to play that that rhythm. Now, in your right hand, all these rhythms that you're going to come up with, um, you can you should start with just one note. Start with D. So when you're doing the just get it down. And once you've got that down, I want you to start creating little patterns using the D harmonic minor scale, which looks like this. It has D, E, F, G, A, B flat, C sharp, D. Okay, so what you're going to do is pick any notes from this scale and play it um, with the rhythms that you figured out on the graph paper. So, um, in other words, you could be up here. accomplishes is not only because once you can play the rhythm that's fine but it's the next step is to be able to move around that like doubles the difficulty right, right there just being able to move around right. so so using all these patterns that you're going to come up with every combination of those eight boxes that you can uh -huh. learn them all shed them all get them down and only at that point would you be able to feel comfortable expanding right. into just hey, stop thinking at that point simple ingredients. You have a D minor chord and a D harmonic minor scale, and the D minor chord lives in the harmonic minor scale. Um, that's it, right? Yeah.